Hello, dear colleagues. Today I want to share my review about a very special topic from Ahis platform. It is a series of lectures by Pasquale Venuti and Marco Maialina about the vertebra concept in prosthodontic treatment. So let's find out what makes this set of lessons so interesting and unique. So, vertebra. Very, very popular topic right now and very controversial topic. So, what is so special about this course from Marco Maialina and Pasquale Venuti? First of all, what I didn't know that there are different philosophies in vertical preparation. There is BOPT, there is vertiprep and there is simplified approach in vertical preparation and they are different and these doctors from Tooth Tomorrow group they will discuss their approach and what kind of differences it has from the classic approach. The series of lectures starts with describing why vertical preparation, why vertical approach and they give you the biomechanical foundation of these principles. They also describe the scientific approach and evidence-based approach in making the decision in doing vertical preparation because it's a safer procedure, it's a proven procedure and it's maybe more biologic for the soft tissues, for the hard tissues of the teeth and can achieve more stable and predictable result. And they give you the full course from start to finish, it's like a residential, so it starts from rationale of choosing this kind of approach for treatment of the patients and they show cases where you can see a lot of useful things besides the preparation for example how to make an impression when there is a combination of teeth and implants how to register the bite to have the correct bite registration for the future work how to apply the vertical concept in the implant prosthetic cases and of course they describe different methods of preparation, how to choose burrs, uh, what kind of preparation, how to avoid mistakes in preparation, and what are the different approaches and how to make the most uh, uh, minimal invasive preparation of the teeth using vertical concept. So they have special burrs that really are helpful in achieving at least amount of the trauma of the soft tissues. You still do gingitage, but you're not doing it in that traumatic way as many people seem to associate vertebrae with. Of course, they will show you different types of the preparation and the impression method technique, whether you utilize, for example, analog impressions or you use digital impressions in a scanner. They will show you how to achieve predictable result in having good impressions, having impressions that the technician could use. And uh, besides that, there is a special part dedicated to the work of the dental technicians. And actually, uh, let's have a look at one of the lectures briefly discussing very, very important topic that are not so often discussed by anybody, the die spacer. How much die spacer we need to create and where on the tooth stand we need to create this space for the cement. So, Let's have a look, several minutes. Now we are going to see, we've seen in the previous video, all the reason because vertical preparation are completely different from horizontal preparation. Especially also we have done some examples simulating some expansion from the plaster and seeing all the problems related to this. Now we will see all the parameters of this technique. So what we have done, this is an analogic workflow. We have placed the spacer, the die spacer, from the top of the abutment to the cervical part of the abutment. And you have done the so-called inverted gap technique. You can do this both in the analogic workflow and you can do this in the same way when you use dental software, CAD software like Exogad, when you work in a digital way. Now, the problem of adding spacer in this area is that a lot of people argue that we end with the crown with the open margin okay because this is what they think so i want to show you some crowns made in this way to analyze the kind of opening that we have this is a crown made with the inverted spacer now you know 
because look on the image here on the top that I have applied spacer in the cervical part and I have not applied spacer on the top of the abutment. But look at the distribution of the cement. The distribution of cement is quite uniform. Okay, the distribution of the cement is quite uniform. And there is not a huge gap in the cervical area. Here, we have been able to detach the tooth from the crown and to keep intact the cement. This is one, of course, of the best sample that we had. We have been able to measure the thickness and in this case, the, spacer, the space of the cement, the thickness of the cement, was 31 microns. We have, in average, a space between 30 microns and 70, 75 microns. This is, in average, the thickness of the cement that we have. And uh, you have seen it, I think you like it. It's worth showing it to a dental technician. Actually, it's worth getting acquainted with the whole course together with dental technician. And also, all very important, how to prep the model, how to treat the model, what kind of model to use. And if you're doing analog model, how to create a perfect stump, how to create a die, so you won't miss any information and you will make a proper decision about the uh, margin of the crown, where this kind of margin would be. Because there is no horizontal in vertical preparation. So in a world of vertical preparation, no horizontal lines at all. Also, if you work with digital con uh, concept, if you use Exacot or other CAD CAM systems, then how to mark the margin, how to mark the finish line, how to uh, read it and how to plan it and also uh, how to create a proper design. There are a lot of tips and tricks how to be able to create the crown with a thin knife edge margin even using Exacut software and using the milling method. And it's not so easy, believe me, but these doctors, they show you the methods, how to avoid problems and how to achieve predictable results all the time. Also, these guys, they discuss the cementation principles, what kind of material to use for cementation, what are the difference in adhesive cementation of the for example, zirconia crowns and uh, cementation using conventional materials. What is best, when, how? And they also give you scientific principles and scientific rationale of making the right decision about that. Besides that, uh, they also discuss a lot of complex cases. The biomechanical principles, for example, how to avoid crack propagation, how to make the uh, tooth preparation thinking about the stability and about durability of the future restorations. For example, such things as an inverted shoulder in tooth preparation. I think it's very, very neat and very nice thing uh, to overcome some problems that could be with the preparation achieving vertical walls. And um, what else they have there? They have multiple information and uh, impression method, also very important. And whether you use analog impression or digital impression, how to achieve the perfect, very precise impression in both methods so that this impression would be accepted by the dental technician and he would be able to make the perfect restorations. And also how to try in the restorations, how to achieve the perfect fit if something goes wrong, how to achieve a perfect contact between the teeth and how to achieve perfect occlusal contacts and what does that mean by that. So, you know, I can, I can talk for hours about this course because I really consider it the gem, uh, the very important course in Octus platform. Actually, I consider it one of the best courses presented in Octus platform. If you're a prosthodontist, if you practice vertical preparation or you haven't practiced it at all, I'm sure you would find this course useful. If you don't want to use vertical preparation, you will, find, you will find a lot of interesting information about the principles of teeth preparation, about the principle of, uh, principles of impression taking, principles about the work of dental technician, material selection and biomaterials, and understanding how to work with different types of ceramic and how to achieve predictable results, and also how to create very nice occlusion. And even if you work with only horizontal preparation or you are mastering vertical preparation, there are lectures there that is 
interesting for everybody. For example, deep margin elevation, very hot, very trendy topic right now. And they show you very useful skills and very useful techniques, how to achieve that and how to get good results and how to prolong the life of the teeth in the oral cavity. And I think you will find it very useful how to create a core, uh, how to avoid mistakes and how not to overwork yourself in creating the core for the future prosthetic. So try it and I'm sure you will like it. And uh, I think it's a must see, must have course for every prosthodontist in the world. So I think in a way, this is the residential that maybe some of us missed or maybe some information that is good to remember, good to remind yourself. I'm, I'm sure, but most of the information presented by that course is new and very useful for you. Well, I hope that will help you to make the decision about diving into the mastering of vertebra concept. I'm sure these lessons would help you in it. This course worth watching several times because details matter. And right now, I wish you great results and grateful patience. Goodbye.